Hello all, Zox here. I am on my Asia, on the Asia server. I have not many friends as you can see on Asia and EU. My battle tag is right there. Feel free to add me. I've had several people request to how do I add you? Can I add you on battle tag? Um, please do. Um, but the other reason I'm here, not just to give you my battle tag, but as you see, I've leveled up a little bit on the Asia server and I've got 135 gold. So we are going to do a Sparkle Magic episode. And I've, I want to go with Classic, but I want more so to go Goblins and Gnomes. But I guess the new players, it's better to go with Classic. So I will go with Classic and we will see. So, we got better than one rare already. So we're going to have a happy warrior as we level the warrior. There is no legendary, but as you know, it doesn't always work. I believe that the sparkle magic greatly increases my chances to get better than one rare is all. finished it got me to my hundred gold but I always try to keep a couple extra quests I always keep one slot open but as you look warlock warlock okay I played one not knowing what the quest was with a priest and I got credit for it obviously so I could get another 80 gold right now by playing you know two winning two warlock quests um, right now so I just wanted to uh, somebody else mentioned I'm gonna toss this into the sparkle magic video um, so it's not completely sparkle magic but as far as getting gold and stuff like that I always keep a couple quests so tomorrow whatever I get when the quests reset if it's not something to do with the warlock hopefully it's the warlock you know win five with a warlock or another class right so I can use the warlock and I can get 60 gold and 40 gold and 40 gold you know what I mean so 140 gold plus to win five games okay to win five games all right that would be another 10 gold right so um, that would be another 10 gold so you could go another one so basically that's how your gold adds up um, when you're starting out new and fresh and trying to get your cards and trying to get dust um, and I don't know if you knew this or not but after you get your first pack make sure that 
you go make sure that you go in you see I've got 110 dust this is a brand new account and I basically got this dust um, when you the first extra card you get when you disenchant your very first card you complete a quest that gives you when you disenchant it you get five dust okay and you get 95 bonus dust for disenchanting your first card so just make sure it's a you know a duplicate or maybe even a neutral that you don't really want and you're gonna have a hundred dust so you'll be able to make as you can see these are two of these two commons is 40 gold apiece so you, when you're starting out just wanted to give a quick tip uh, somebody that said uh, they wanted uh, to know how I end up getting the gold to buy all these packs when I don't play very often so uh, until next time just make sure you maximize your quests always try to roll for 60 if you've got something like this, though, where, you know, time-wise, all I have to do is win two games with a Warlock, okay, and I've got 80 gold, right? So, 80 gold, efficiency of it, if I re-roll this, it might end up being another class, and that's more time I've got to play. So, if you're very limited on time, you know, you could opt to just leave it like this. I've been playing on all three accounts, meaning uh, Asia... EU and Americas so um, I don't have a whole lot of time so I try to do it the most efficient way possible for my playstyle so whatever you decide to do just keep in mind the majority of the quests are 40 gold there is 160 gold quest there is one 100 gold quest, and then there is one where you can spectate a friend that wins a match, and you get a free pack. So, thanks everybody for watching. Until next time, Zox out.